Hey, you chickadees. I'm Lee Rooster, and you're in the hen house. We are looking today at some of the changes that happen when you go from ops level 34 to 35, like I just did today, um, related to your Franklin and your swarm activities and all that. This is one of those questions. Again, um, when this was fresh, when the Franklin A was coming out, it was a bigger deal and it was uh, more of news. Um, in the meantime, I've been, if you've been watching some of my streams, you know I've been sitting at ops 34, making sure my Franklin was ready to deal with the changes uh, that happen in going to level 35 related to the swarm because I depend on my swarm dailies uh, for a lot of my daily grinding and a lot of good points and being able to promote and uh, and build up my Franklin. So I wanted to show you that stuff as I was looking at it um, because of the Sela event, which included uh, you know doing some domination events. I had Ops 30, 35 in the oven and I had enough speed ups that I could cash them in. So I thought I would do that to try to try to secure my place in the auction. I did finish with at least getting some Sela shards, but you know, I'm not a big fan of auctions that you probably know. So um, again, I was sitting on this and and people, lots of people in stream and others had tried to help me with some of the information, but I realized uh, it's a little, the information that we get is a little different um, than what I thought it was. And if I had known this, I might've pulled the trigger a little earlier on going to 35. Um, so I thought I would take advantage of showing it. And I've got my, um, my, my little Franklin that's not quite maxed out um, popping in here for, for some, um, or some swarm activity for today, but so let's let's take a look at the fives, uh, the the dailies here, and then we're going to look at the store or the refinery too. So I want to show the changes. So um, I've done some of my daily stuff, but I have not done anything related to the swarms. So I just wanted to, um, one thing I wanted to point out. Okay, as we scroll down here, I've got the swarm watcher, which is killed a fifty of level fifteen or higher. You do get a times three bonus if you're using the Franklin A, or do one swarm armada, and that knocks that one out. That's your fifteen point one. That's the that's what I call both the um, the easy one and the one that I often will skip if I don't feel like killing fifty of something. So it's just the fifteen pointer. So it depends on. Oh, sorry, I'm kicking a footstool down there. Uh, it depends on what I need. And then I was I was pleasantly surprised to see that I didn't lose these. I have the defeat level thirty two swarm, and you do get a times three bonus with the Franklin A if you're using that. Uh, where I need to do twenty five, or it says do one swarm armada. Okay, I'm not ready to do that stuff yet because I don't have the Franklin A, but I am at, at the level where eventually I can start making that Franklin A. And then I keep the um, so that's thirty five points, and then the fifty point one, the big dog one, is killing those thirty five of the level thirty two swarm, and with the bonus on the Franklin A, so it can be done faster if you did have the Franklin A, uh, if I did, or doing those uh, one of those swarm armados. Uh, those haven't been that popular for my alliance. I don't know about you guys. Uh, you can let me know down in the comments below about it. So I don't know how regular those are happening. I know in my alliance they're not happening very often. So. Um, it may be worth it to grind out a little differently. But I was thinking I was going to lose these, and that did not happen when I went to Ops 35, so that's important. What I did what did happen is as I scroll down, and sorry, we're on the PC app, but sometimes there's a little bit of lag, so hopefully Scopely will fix that. Um, this one I can't make any higher, and you got some of my Lay Rooster logos over there. Um, but this, uh, there's a new these new two ones down here. Swarm Hunter for five points, a whole five, defeat level 35 or higher swarm um, with a times three bonus uh, with a Franklin A or one level 40 plus swarm armada, I get five. All right, now the swarm slayer is for 10 points and that is defeat level 37 and higher swarm with a times three bonus for the Franklin A instead of Franklin or one level 40 plus swarm armada. So we got the options. Now, what we are getting in here is a different rewards. We're getting the uh, swarm advanced biotics, all right, which is gonna be different. And the, um, the second level, the blue instead of green frequency modulators, you know, of course, you like, oh, of course, thank God I'm getting more frequency modulators. So if you do, you are going to need to farm these if you're needing the blue ones, which I'm pretty sure you need for your Franklin A's. Um, and then again, you get more biotics, uh, a big dump of them, 150 and I think 50, uh, 30. So 180 total. So um, so that gives us five different swarm dailies to work on, um, but still allows me to grind away and get the same 100 points from my dailies for doing the 32s with my current Franklin, which is good, because um, I was afraid about losing that, to tell you the truth, because um, I depend on those 100 points. Some days, if you've seen me racing against the clock to complete my dailies, we're using the get 100 points with quick swarm farming. Uh, so let's see here. Remember your research and building up that Franklin so you can get that. 
Anyway, let's also look here at the refinery is where the other change comes into play here. So, all right, and um, it is in the resources tab. I suddenly had a whole bunch of notes here. You can see up top I've got uh, the thing for the Franklin, uh, like the Stella uh, blueprint type of thing, and uh, the biotics and the normal biominerals, I believe we're uh, call them. So used to, if you're uh, if you're used to level 34 or below, you're used to the swarm biominerals, parsteel, tritanium, and dilithium here. So where you cash these in at 100 and you get some decent, you know, trit or parsteel or dilithium. I try to do these daily or at least every other day, um, four times a week, something like that. I mean, the more you do them, the better. Um, but then we have the swarm biotics. Um, and again, it's dilithium and trit. But like, if you know, when we have these for 100 of the of the big dog um, biotics, you're going to get 4 million tritanium tokens. So that's that's a great backlog. And then 2.8 million. So because if we look at let's compare what we get with the biominerals, we get 175,000 tritanium and we get 800,000 tritanium. So that's a big reward that we're getting really can help with if you're low on parsteel tritanium or dilithium. And then the blueprints for the Franklin, Franklin A being able to cash in once you get these these pieces. Um, the Franklin Advanced Data Core, gained by scrapping the original Franklin, refined into Franklin A blueprints. Scrap a max level Franklin to fully unlock. So that'll be, I don't quite have a max level Franklin. Um, I've just got, I think I need a, a gun left on it. And I have one more gun left to go on there, but, um, you know, we'll just start killing some swarms. So I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to point out some of those differences in how that works. So that does mean that, you know, sitting at 34 for as long as I did, I sat there longer than I wanted to. But this is some information that I'm hoping since it's helpful to me, if I had known this and knew I wasn't losing my level 32 swarm daily activities, which I know I can complete. Um, then that makes it easier for me to like push up to 35 and beyond. Um, so if you are, have been dealing with some of the swarm camping because of this issue with the Franklin and the Franklin A, I wanted to share that information there and hope that helps. Anyway, that's going to end it for us. Remember to check us out on Twitch, which you'll see the link over here, and, and on YouTube. I stream there on Saturday, uh, Sunday mornings for um, Star Trek Fleet Command. So make sure you like and subscribe the video, as well as get those notifications so you can catch me on my Sunday live streams on YouTube. But also come over to Twitch all during the week, Pacific time after work, as well as Saturday mornings on Twitch, where I'm streaming Star Trek Fleet Command. Do some other games, too, on everything, but we get at least four streams in a week on Star Trek and make a lot of content on there. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot. You take care and cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs>